Hey, what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to my crazy, stupid and most likely failing attempt to build a PC. When I was in my early 20s, I used to build a lot of custom PC because it was like pretty cheap, affordable, and I was kind of good even if I wasn't sure what I was doing. I, was, I wasn't the most technical person ever, but it was fun and I was able to not buy a new PC once every two years because I was able to update my old PC and just having fun in building, upgrading, cleaning and refactoring all machines. Because of my career and my professional role for the past decade, I've been using only Apple products and they've been pretty good until now. I mean, I really like how the Apple products were solid and super reliable and the operating system was perfect for a developer and a designer like me. You have all these softwares and these operating system that it's ready to go. You can literally install any type of development tool or development process to have a pretty straightforward workflow that I couldn't find in any other operating system. But I feel like recently Apple is just losing its way, it's just like creating crappy products that are not appealing for me and they don't bring any benefit. So I don't want to buy in the next couple of years a new Apple product because I need to upgrade myself, I need to have a reliable and powerful machine and finding my stuck with stupid gimmick hardware that doesn't really work as it's intended to. So that's why I decided to go back in the PC family and building my own custom PC to use Linux and try to definitely and forever or until Apple decides to do something better to move to the Linux family. Please don't tell me that I should try Windows because I used Windows for many many years and it's a development hell. I don't like the system, I don't like the softwares, I don't like the interface, I don't like pretty much anything about Windows and it's just terrible. So I will never go back to Windows, probably never ever 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 again. But we'll see. Anyway, this is a quick video introduction to let you know why I decided to start building a custom PC and why I decided to adopt Linux as my main operating system. The main reasons are two. Linux is perfect. It's a perfect operating system for a developer. as the same Unix based of Mac OS and I can install pretty much all the things that I need to do some web development or just some software development. So it's pretty good. The worst part of Linux in my opinion is the availability of a pretty good and competitive design software. Please don't tell me that GIMP or Inkscape are any way comparable to Photoshop or Sketch or Affinity Designer. Those softwares are way above and beyond GIMP and Inkscape and GIMP and Inkscape are not good for a UX designer, are kind of good for an amateur and if you spend a lot of time probably you can do really professional things but the easy of use and the easy accessibility of Affinity Designer or Sketch for UX design are not comparable. I, I cannot replace those softwares with something that it's not there yet. And even Krita, that is, in my opinion, one of the best graphic softwares out there now, uh, probably from uh, like a digital painting point of view, it's even more powerful than Photoshop, is not suitable for a UX designer. So the other reason why I decided to build a custom PC and installing Linux is because I want an environment where I can develop my own graphic software. I'm gonna try to create a software similar to Sketch or Adobe XD, Adobe Experience Designer, something for focused and uh, ready to go for a UX designer, so to do web design and web prototyping and stuff like that. Not digital painting, not photo retouching, just UX design. I want to build this software completely open source first running on Linux because of course if you're on Apple, if you're on Mac OS or if you're on Windows, you have a bunch of different alternatives that are pretty much on the same level. But if you're on Linux and you don't want to use an emulator, you're stuck with really outdated software that is not good from a professional point of view. The other main goal is to build a PC that I can use every day. So I don't want to build like a gigantic tower that is going to sit underneath my desk getting dusty and just being used 
once every weekend just to try to build this software. I want to use Linux every day. I want to ease into Linux pretty much every day and get myself used to that operating system again. I used to use Linux a lot in the past, but then I stopped because of my work. Linux, unfortunately, I cannot use it professionally every day, but I think it's getting closer to that. So I decided to build an HTPC or a home theater personal computer. In this way, the small form factor and the um, flexibility of an HTPC will allow me to use it pretty much every day as like a media device to stream Netflix or to watch movies, to listen to music or to play games on SteamOS, but also move it around and use it as a PC or a temporary PC when I want to develop software, I want to install a new operating system, or I want to do tutorials about how to create something on Linux or how to install a development environment on Linux. Before jumping into the ATPC idea, I was like browsing around buying some laptops, something like from System76 or a Dell XPS ready with Ubuntu on it. But then I decided that in the long run, a laptop is not the best solution because uh, it most likely costs more than a desktop PC. I already have an extra monitor so I can use that. I don't need the laptop with the monitor. And plus in like, in a year or two, maybe it's gonna be outdated, the laptop, or I need to upgrade something, I cannot do it. Something that I can totally do it with a custom PC. If I want more power, I can just replace the processor, or I can implement a graphic card, or I can replace an SSD, or whatever, put more memory, more RAM, and that's like flexibility that you cannot have with a laptop, unfortunately. So these are the reasons why I decided to try to build a custom HTPC, and why I decided to install Linux on it. And I'm pretty excited about it because it's been a while since I built the last PC and I noticed that the uh, technology, even if it didn't change much, the process is still the same, it got really, really easy and accessible for everyone. Before, before it was kind of like dark magic or something like super weird. Now instead it's like pretty cool. I, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to record the entire process and while explaining you why I decided to buy some specific parts and then I'm gonna show you also the next level like what I'm gonna do after I build this HTPC. I'm gonna install uh, an operating system, I'm gonna try to pick like the best operating system for my needs and I'm gonna start developing this amazing <laughs> UX software that probably is gonna be uh, crappy at the beginning, but hopefully if I can keep pushing it, keep developing, it's gonna be competitive, easy to use and accessible and useful for a professional designer that wants to switch to Linux and doesn't have to pay thousands of dollars for a Apple computer or stick with a crappy Windows environment. So it's pretty much it for this video. Please let me know in the comment below what you think about this idea. Do you think the custom HTPC is a good solution? Do you think building a custom UX design software in Linux, it's gonna be a complicated, convoluted solution and I should try something else or I should contribute on an open source project. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a custom PC, if you're using Linux, what you love and what you hate about Linux. This is gonna be an ongoing process, so I'm not really sure how long it's gonna be this series or if it will ever be a series. Probably it's gonna be just this video and then I'm gonna fail miserably even before starting. But thank you so much anyway for checking this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And until the next video, enjoy yourself. Happy coding, happy designing, and happy custom PC building. Bye.